Hello all. Welcome to this tutorial on how to implement reducing Unity build file size significantly. This is a new method discovered by me which can reduce Unity game build size by as much as 90%. Before I begin, friends please support me by subscribing to my channel. I have already created a tutorial on how it works to reducing Unity game build file size. For building understanding and the concept behind, please refer to my previous tutorial on significantly reduce the size of Unity build file. The link to the tutorial is added in the description below. To summarize, this technique involves creating an XML file for each scene in your project which contains all the game objects in that particular scene. We also create another c -sharp script the purpose of which is to read this XML file created and, for the scene to be loaded in the game, instantiate the game objects. Also, the location, rotation and scale are read from the XML file and applied to each game object. This method drastically reduces the size, as now, we don't have to create a scene file for every level. Instead, the scene file is replaced by an XML file which is read during scene loading in the game. A scene file may take much larger space, but now, we don't have to create one as the scene is loaded from an XML file, instead, which takes much lesser space in few kilobytes instead of megabytes. So, the first step is to create a scene in Unity which you want in your game. This scene is just like what you want your game should have. We will generate a low size XML file from the scene containing all the game objects. Once the XML file has been created, we will delete the scene file. So, to create XML file, we create an empty game object called scene info in the scene. This is done by going to game object and click on create empty. Rename this object in the hierarchy view to scene info. To this game object add the script component sceneinfo.cs. The file can be downloaded from the link provided in the description below. Open this file in Visual Studio or IDE of your choice. You have to make some changes to this script as per your Unity project location. Here is the directory path which is the location of resources folder in your project's asset folder. If you don't have a resources folder, create one and make sure it is named as resources. You will notice that at the end of directory path a variable mission number has been suffixed. Let me give you a background of what this variable is. The script has been designed assuming there are two hierarchical levels in your game. One is the main level or world, which generally refers to a theme in your game. For example, a world can be desert or forest. A sublevel is a level under a particular world. A level may have many sublevels. For example, in a world forest, there may be many sublevels which use the theme and physical objects found in the forest. So, coming back to script scene info, make sure that your scene name consists of both level number or world as well as the sublevel. The easiest way to do this is to name your scene consisting of a sequence of the constant string level followed by the level number followed by a hyphen and followed by sublevel number. For example, we can map the desert world as level 1. Under desert world if we want to instantiate sublevel 1 then name the scene as level 1 hyphen 1. Another example can be that there can be forest world which you can map as level 2 and sublevel 3. So, the scene name will be like level 2 hyphen 3. Coming back to script scene info, we will populate the variable mission number like so. This is done by getting the scene name and use a substring to extract only the string prior to hyphen, which will give the mission number. So, a scene name like level 2 hyphen 3 will have mission number as level 2. So, for every world or level we create a directory inside the resources folder with name mission number. Then again from the scene name we create a text file inside the directory we just created with name scene name. We are done with setting up the script scene info. The next step is to run the script. So, we press the play button. This will generate XML file consisting of all the game objects in the scene along with their location, rotation, and scale. 
Remember that the script will automatically create a folder in the resources folder with name mission or level number. In our case, the scene name is level 1 hyphen 1. So, running the script will create a folder named level 1 and inside it there will be a text file named level 1 hyphen 1. This will consist of all the game objects in the scene along with their transforms. Let us now look at the XML file and browse through its contents. As you can see that all the game objects of the scene along with their position, rotation and scale have been placed under respective node called mesh name. For example, the first mesh name node has the game object name object 2 underscore cylinder with the transform. The next node has game object object 3 underscore plane with its transform, and so on. You can delete the scene file from your project once the output file is created as scene file is not required anymore. Doing away with the scene file reduces the size of Unity build file considerably. Next, we will load level wherever you want it to happen in your game. In our case, we will load the level in scene main scene already created. So, we open it. To load level, we will create a game object called load level by going to game object and then click on create empty. Rename it as load level. This is the game object to which we will add the script loadlevel.cs. The link to the script has been provided in the description below. So, we click on load level game object and click on add component. In the search box, we search for script load level and click on it. We now have the load level script ready to be run. Before I go further, additionally, I want to mention here that just by having the names of game objects in a scene and its transforms in the XML file we created earlier does not suffice to instantiate the game objects. We need to define the game objects in an inventory file. An inventory file, here, is nothing but a scene which consists of all unique game objects that a world or main level needs. For example, there may be a scene in which there are hundreds of similar trees which need to be instantiated. So, in the inventory scene we will just have a single tree game object but hundreds of trees will be instantiated using the single tree game object already defined in the inventory scene for forest. As an example we will open this inventory file. This is the inventory file inventory scene underscore prefabs which is Basically, another scene file with all the unique game objects already defined in it. These are the contents of the file. Make sure that, for a given level, all the game objects are uniquely included in this file. We will reopen the main scene where we will run the load level script. Pressing play will run the script. The script, one by one reads, from the XML, the object name, and in the inventory file searches for that game object and instantiates it. The script also reads the transforms and applies to the game object being instantiated. It is worthwhile to mention here like forest, there may be a world called desert. The world desert will have many sublevels under it. So, we will have another inventory scene called forest which will have the unique game objects related to desert like cactus, dunes. So, to summarize, the load level script, during scene loading, first evaluates the level number based on which appropriate inventory file will be loaded. Then, for a particular main level and its sublevel, the already generated XML file is read, one by one, for object name and its transform, and then correspondingly instantiated using the appropriate game object template already defined in the inventory file. So, make sure, that in the script load level, the main world or level, and its sublevel, has been populated correspondingly in variables level to be played int and sublevel to be played int, in your game. Imagine the benefits of having this design implemented in your game where you can save hundreds of MB of storage. I believe this can be a breakthrough to removing the size limitation in your Unity build file. I hope this helped. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.